Hello, I'm Feeding Master Corey Russell. In the following features a game where um, myself against an expert who actually played pretty decent. He made several small inaccuracies in the end game, but in the end it cost him. So let's see what happens. I was late. So here, white essays to begin the game. Uh, apparently, Fasky and Pogar tried this on occasion. So both sides develop. So H3 is very important both to stop bishop g4 and g4 in this line. Especially with the bishop laser on f2. So I keep development. So I go to e2 to cover g3, right? Because if I castle, the 95 hits the pawn as pin. So but being on e2, covers e3, and that also means if my king gets out of the pin, I can play f4, and the knight covers on e3. So this is to protect his bishop. Continue development. Fritz thinks this one's equal. I didn't mind the taking the bishop. Yeah, I thought the reinforced center would be. Uh, just fine. Which makes 95 is slightly better. Um, I like this instead, though. Putting the question is a little. This is a really good move, actually. Here I thought, well, what am I going to do here? It's turning like something like bishop d7 or something. So, okay. But no, we can't do it yet. Well, yes, you can actually, because he, he, he would be hitting b3. So, so I'm like, well, let's just get the bishop for knight and see if I can get something with that. Okay, he's hitting c2. He protects. So I wanted some open lines. He says, no. Fine, I don't want to give you a lens either. Um, so that's kind. Of, it's kind. Of, it should be kind of level, actually, at this point. I would say. So here, I realize once he played that, he wants to open ninety-seven, ninety-five. So H four is played. So if he does this, I will pin and snap that knight. Which, um, and, and I like my position. Black, of course, sees I want to pin him. So then he goes, ah. Instead, he'll go knight g8, e7, d4, which is still pretty potent, that, that idea, actually. Uh, okay, so anyways, uh, king of eight. So I want to play d4, but I really need c4 covered before I can play it. So plus, stopping b3 is also worthwhile, any, also. So he does his plan. I do my plan of d4. Fritz says, um, oh, oops, wait a minute, I must have missed a move. Uh, Mr. Bishop h3 somewhere. h4, oh, he played rook c7 first. First. Then I, I stopped at 97. And when I stop on g7, then he plays king g8. And then I play b3. Okay, there we go. Then he does his plan through my plan. So here, bishop g2, Fritz says, and white slightly protected. Although, to me, it seems like knight f5, and it looks like he's playing fine to me to do that. So, so I thought it'd be sharp. Not because it's a great move, it's, it's not that great, but. Um, it, it complicates things. And he might make a misstep, which he does, actually. He should play just d5 here. Oh, he has a center pawn. He takes here. Fritz now says it's equal. Uh, for several moves, Fritz says sc4 is the right move. For several moves, Fritz says bishop f1 is also a move, too. I thought e6 was good, though. But still thinks that you have one to move. 
And finally, Black Ops 4. Um, it says white black slightly better. So I don't want to take the pawn right away. I want to hit his rook. And the reason why is because I'm going to need my rook and the bishop to stop his pawn or maybe block on b5. So that way his rook's not, you know, pushing this pawn down my throat. Um, so in any case, I need to do this with tempo. And the other thing too is the a pawn's going to die next move anyway, so. Okay. But here, I thought Kerry said, you know what? His a pawn is actually more important than my e pawn. So then I choose, I saw a possibility of possibly picking off the b pawn, his b pawn. That's the other reason I did that. Yeah, okay. Whoops, I didn't do that. Um, so I got his pawn, so I'm threatening Rick b5 and then Rick take pawn. So here, Black tried to get complicated when he's shooting attack. Took his pawn, because I said, wait a minute. This isn't that great for him. Because I was thinking, wait a minute. If he does like here, for example, uh, this is a pretty good move. Because now he can't take his nice pawn. So. I was thinking, does he even have time for all this? But anyways, he pressed on. So here, he should absolutely take my rook. He didn't see what was coming, I don't think. So he should have taken my rook, but he played rook here. He had an idea. The problem is I have a counter idea. My counter idea is I'm going to ram that ape on the throat, and he just doesn't have time to pick off my kingside. He should have actually at least taken my f pawn. But he is a pretty cautious player, so he wanted to restrain my pawn right away. The problem is it's only a partial restraint. Um, here, he needs to get his king over here. And um, but he does this. And now, Fritz says white is clearly winning. Um, the problem is I'm going to ram his pawn, the pawn down and he and Unfortunately for him, his king's on the back rank, which allows him to do it with tempo. And that tempo is going to be fatal. Ah, oh, looks like he got missing pawn, right? Because, you know, if I push, he takes. And if I do nothing, he takes. Well, unfortunately, I have a combination. Check. And, of course, the problem, if he takes, I king. So that's not good. But, if he goes up, which he did, queen, take, take, and then he sets the material. Oops. Black's down a rook and a pawn. And so Black realized it's hopeless and he resigns here. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I'll see you guys next time.